For this problem, um, this um, we have a sample that's emitting particles, so that means the particles have a velocity, and we know that there's a magnetic field um, oriented vertically upward, and these particles are observed to bend left. That means there's a force on them to the left um, of our screen. And so we have to determine whether the particles are positive or negative. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we know because um, they're talking about particles, they're talking about a magnetic field, and they're talking about uh, that they bend, we're going to think about our um, equation. So the force is equal to Q and then V crossed B. Okay, so we're going to need to use our right-hand rule to figure this out. So um, if we think about Q and then V cross B, we have to determine the direction of V, and we have to determine the direction of B. So they tell we're going to do this two different ways. Um, let's do it um, in three dimension, but um, the first one we'll, we'll do um, two-dimensionally, meaning uh, I can do it like assuming the plane of the page into and out of the plane of the page is one dimension. Okay, so it says that... Um, um, they tell us that a sample of unknown radioactive substance is observed to emit particles. And they say um, they're talking about the direction with respect to an observer looking along their direction of motion. So we're going to assume that the direction of motion is into the page. So I'm going to draw a circle with an X. And that's going to represent our velocity, and that's going to represent into the page. And the reason it's into the page is if I think about um, this vector as if it has a tip like an arrow, um, and it has the end of it has feathers on it, so like a like bow and arrow, and it, um, an arrow like uh, from from that. Then my these F, this X represents the feathers on the back of the arrow, so that means that the velocity is going into the page. And I also have a magnetic field which is um, upwards, vertically upwards. So this is our magnetic field B. And now if I think about using the right hand rule, I need to point my fingers in the direction of V. So my fingers are going to point into the page. And then I need to bend my fingers up in the direction of B. So when I do that, my thumb points to the right. So my force is represented by my, th my thumb, and that's going to point to the right. Now they tell us, though, that the, um, that the emitted particles, uh, they're, ob they're observed to bend to the left. So when I do this, um, I'm always doing it for a positive charge. So I'll, I point my fingers in the direction of V into the page bend my fingers up in the direction of B, and the thumb represents the force, so it should be to the right. But for a negative charge, it's opposite. So it's opposite. This, is, this would be the force for the opposite, so I know it's negative. Now I'm just going to um, do this one other way in case that's uh, any, at all difficult to understand. Um, let's do this in 3D. So let's, let's say that this is my x... This is my Y, and my Z is out of the page. And I'll just dash it into the page to understand that, um, that, that dimension, so into and out of the page here. And I know that my velocity, let's, um, my velocity is going to be into the page, so I'm going to draw it like that. That's my velocity, and I'll turn it red, just so we know it's velocity, and we'll say this is B, and I'll make that red. Okay, and now my field is um, upward, so vertical. So that's my field, the direction of my field. So now if I point my fingers into the page to represent V, and I bend them up towards B, then my, my thumb points to the right. This is F. So I know, again, that it must be negative because they say that they're observed to point to the left. Um, so if, if this shows that it points to the right, which it does, then um, that's for a positive charge. Then for a negative charge, the force has to be a negative, right? Um, so I would have this, because I have F is equal to Q V cross B. So if my Q is positive, I have this case here where it points to the right. If my Q is negative, I have this point, case here where it points to the left.